I want to bring somebody in who's going to be my partner this year. His name is Tony C. Tony Collada, you. <laughs> Big man, how are you doing? Fun name to say. He, well, it's, he, put it this way. It's really easy. It's Collada, you. You think of Pina, Collada, you, and you're done. I learned it myself about three weeks ago. It's like a Jimmy Buffett song. That's exactly right. If That's you exactly. like Pina, Collada. Yeah. Then you then then you're you're ready to go. Hey, by the way, it's been energetic, man. Those two three hours you've been doing, I've been driving in and checking you out, and uh, you're uh, turning uh, you know sports radio topsy turvy in Florida. Oh, I don't know. Everything I'm reading on Twitter says I suck. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Hey, let, let me let me tell everybody out there. And I had the pleasure of, of, of meeting Rick a, a couple of weeks ago. We spent some days together. And brother, let me tell you something. And most people just see you on TV; they don't know. But you are a genuine guy and a transparent guy and uh and uh, and a, and a just a, a great guy to be with i think we're going to have some great fun on these fiu broadcasts um and and exciting uh times too because uh, uh if anybody's ascending in this town as far as college football it's our guys over there near uh, a street and uh and coral way well you know i got to tell you something i'm excited about fiu because of what it's done I'm excited because it's a different kind of football. We've never had a uh, spread offense to follow in this town. You and I were out there on the field the other day. I, look, I'll be honest with you. There's parts of that offense I don't understand. When I played high school and college football, we ran a veer. We ran the wishbone. Uh, we ran the pro set. Uh, we ran tight formations. And we thought sometimes that was complicated. What these guys are doing if you watch the quarterback, watching his coaches, trying to see what it is that they're going to do, and you see the speed of that offense, and you see him put up an average of 40 points a game, you're saying, this is amazing. They do everything out of the gun. Um, and I think, you know, like the TCUs and like the BYUs and like some of these other programs we've seen around the country, they're exciting to watch. And I, I think these guys are going to light it up this year. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, absolutely. And you know what? Wesley Carroll, who's already basically graduated, 61202, the senior uh, out of St. Thomas Aquinas, and we remember him from the uh, Aquinas days, is really a student of the game. You were talking about that earlier. Mm -hmm. But this is a guy that Cristobal needs under center and actually in the shotgun because there's so many reads he has to look at and see and see how the defense is playing and I think they've got the right guy there but some people who are not really uh, don't know FIU there is some incredible talent on mm. this football team uh, you know T.Y. Hilton absolutely genuine Heisman candidate uh, Jonathan Cyprian will take your head off at safety uh, Torek Williams will can rush with anybody in college football and and they've got a schedule and I think you shared earlier they've got a schedule that includes Louisville at Louisville on the ninth, UCF here at home and Duke if they can get through the first three games which I think they could win um, they're a top 25 team, and, huh? and I don't care how many people are laughing out there. They're going to be a top 25 football team, and I believe they've got the coach to get this thing done to him. Um, Mario Cristobal, and I think UM made a mistake. Four years ago, they got Randy Shannon. They, if they picked this guy up, <laughs> that program would have been at another level right now. I think you're absolutely right. You know what's, you know what's really, really cool? What's really cool is that this university, is going to put a football team out there with their very own stadium in a centralized location where people actually live in South Florida, and they're going to charge people less than $50 for season tickets with a halftime show and the band and an exciting football team and all that comes with it. I understand the guy who's also the voice of the Miami Heat is now going to be the announcer at the FIU games, is yeah, that right? Yeah, Mike Biamonte, who, who we hear at the Heat all the time and is a, is a great voice. He's going to be the PA announcer. Um, you and I are going to have a lot of fun on these broadcasts. We're going to make it entertaining, informative. It's going to be energetic. I, I, it'll be, I, my, I think, second to none in this mm -hmm. town. And and you've got a great product and an ascending program. You know, I mean, there's going to be 20,000 seats, and they're all going to be full. Um, mm -hmm. FIU right now, it's, it's really going uh, to another level level and uh and i'm looking forward to having a lot of fun with you at home and on the road big guy because it's you know uh it's it's going to be it's going to be a season for the ages and and one that i think is going to be uh, larger and bigger than most people think in south florida look i as you talked about i'm a i'm a um fan from like ed carney quarterbacking okay even though i'm a gator 
and a graduate of the University of Florida. I love Miami way from the I beginning. I go back to Silvio Cardoso and uh, Chuck Foreman myself. Well, you're a little older than I am. But, <laughs> but, but I could tell you, I remember the bad days and the good days, and, I, and I'm and i pained by what is happening at oh, the of University course. of Miami. I, I mean, I really am pained. Yeah. But, but, and I know FIU is not smiling about it. I think everybody's hurting about this. But this is going, FIU right now is, is going to be a, a sparkling light in South Florida in the sense of sports and certainly in football. No, you're right. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with having two big programs in one big town. So Absolutely. there's plenty of room at the top. Hey, Tony C., I love you like a brother. Keep me honest. You're going to be good. Uh, and I'm going to try really hard to stay with you. You're the man, my brother. Great job today. God bless you.